Welcome to another episode of Miramadon Nation, where I'll show you how to make a $3 DIY aspirator. First, I went to Dollar Tree, and I found these test tubes in the arts and crafts section. So I bought three test tubes, one for the main vial, and then two for the catch vials out in the field. I had some tubing I got from the hardware store for very cheap, two different sizes, and a small piece of mesh. First thing I'm gonna do is trace where the tubing is gonna route into the cap of the test tube. For the smaller tubing, you'll want that to be the hose you suck into. And then for the larger tubing, you'll want that to be the hose that the ants get sucked up into. Now you'll want to go ahead and drill the holes that you traced into the cap of the test tube. And in this part, you will want the tubing to fit into the cap absolutely snug. The snugger everything is, the better your suction will be. Now in this step, you're going to trace your mesh with the smaller tubing that you will be sucking into. This mesh will keep small particles and the ants from coming back into your mouth. Then go ahead and cut the mesh in the area that you traced. And this could be any mesh. It could be screen door mesh. Um, I've seen people use gauze. Anything will work as long as it'll keep the particles out and let the air flow through. Then feed the intake hose through and glue your mesh onto the inside. The last thing I do is glue around where the tubing meets the cap, both inside and outside. Now, when you are gluing that part, try to make sure that you do not impede the threads of the test tube so that the test tube and the cap can make an airtight seal. Now the reason you buy extra test tubes is so after you've caught a colony or a queen, you can just take the tube off of the aspirator, put a cap on it, and then move on to the next one. And something extra I like to do with these type of test tubes is just drill a hole in the cap, and then I'll go ahead and glue some mesh on the top of them. So if you're gonna be out on a long trip and you have a colony or a queen in there, that they will definitely have some airflow. Here's just an example of me using the aspirator to aspirate a single pogo worker out of a colony that I have. Um, this aspirator actually turned out to work better than any aspirator I've ever handmade before. And then here's another example with my Vera Messer Pergande. Um, this is a good example of how the mesh works well because this is kind of some finer sand that they're in. And as you'll notice, after I aspirate the workers, all the sand is in the test tube, not in my mouth. So all things worked out really well.
Thank you guys for watching this episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And uh, we're going to be taking a break for the next week and a half for the holidays, as I'll be flying out of town Friday, and then I'll be gone for Thanksgiving as well. And Jesse will be taking a break until he welcomes his second child. So thanks you guys for watching, and feel free to reach out to Jesse and wish him luck on his adventure.